It's off the loom, got it inside out. Now, a lot of the ends I've already wove in um, just to save time, but it's pretty simple. All you do is you just take a crochet hook, you pick up stitches, you pull the yarn through, keep it with the same collar, it won't be noticeable on the other side, and then cut with a little bit of a tail on them. Then as it stretches and stuff, those will kind of work their way in. If the tail's still a little long, you can trim it more. But what I really wanted to take the time to show you guys, right here is the only spot you really need to kind of like sew up, as you can see. And what I do with that, since we're doing, it says two different collars, you, got it, you want it to look kind of neat. You just go back and forth on this side. Which I'll kind of show you what I'm doing. I'm just picking up stitches. Pulling the yarn through. See? Now you want to watch. The blue is a little hard to see, but you don't want to like pick up a stitch like that because then you're just creating a new hole. I look for stitches that are like the tighter stitches to pull through. See, so that way I'm not creating new holes by weaving in the ends here. You just do this all the way across here and then I check it oops, to make sure, sorry, all right I want this stitch right here, I'll get it, there it is, and I just kind of check it as I go to make sure my holes are filling in. That one's a bit of a loop. We'll get a tighter stitch behind it. See, I've just got one spot left over here, which this stitch right here should fill that in. See, so I've got that filled in, which what I do from here, so I'm going to take the tail up here, weave it down to meet this tail. Then I'm going to kind of tie them together um, and then run them in opposite directions just so everything is locked in really good. Okay, so I got both of these down to pretty much, I'll go down one more with that one. So I just make sure, and I'm double check, make sure I don't have any holes. And all I'm doing is I'm just doing one little like half knot, whatever you want to call that. That way there is no like bulky knot or anything there. And I'm just going to weave it still with the yellow. Down a few stitches on this side. Then I'll weave it down a few stitches on the other side. And then I can cut the ends off. And it's going to have to untwist quite a bit to end up with any holes or to come loose. Okay, let's do just one more. Then we'll flip it inside out. We'll cut the ends off. Flip it back uh, the right side. I'm take my rings and my watch off so I can put the gloves on to show you exactly how they look. Now there are a couple 
things I do want to point out with these gloves, just things to watch for when you are doing the pattern, which see, I did pearl row first. When I changed the collar on the cuff for that one, this one I did a flat stitch row first. So you're going to end up with a bit of a line there either way. All right, now to put the gloves on. Now these are a very snug fit. That's how I wanted them fit. You can make yours, if you don't want yours this snug and your measurements are the same as mine, then um, uh, just add a couple pegs to it. Make it just a little, a little bigger around as you're doing it. Okay, here we go. Let me zoom out. Oh, I guess I wasn't zoomed in very far. So here they are. Our Harley Quinn uh, inspired gloves. Got the collar change on the back and then we got all the cables on the front. A couple things I wanted to point out. Make sure you are twisting your cords tight. Make sure you're twisting the cables. The When you're changing collars, make sure you're crossing the yarns over or else you'll end up with the holes. Like, see, I got a couple there. And if you don't cross it on the back, see? I made sure to do a couple so you could see. And you got to watch because... I accidentally did. I wasn't feeling too good when I was working on this glove. Um, I've been kind of under the weather and I accidentally, I got a couple boo-boos on it. Right there's one. I accidentally purled like half a row. I'm not really sure why. But this I did on purpose so you can see how it would look because I can go through with a piece of string and kind of like tie that closed. But this is what happens if you don't twist those strands every single time is you'll end up with holes like that. See, I just did it the once. The one time but here are the gloves all right everybody that's all i got for you and out of all that yarn you got you can make probably i'd say three sets of gloves is that you've got enough yarn um, or you can just make your gloves really long if you want there you go guys i hope you enjoyed this pattern any questions or comments, um, you can leave them in the comment section below, but honestly, my email's in the description below. If you send me an email, um, I, I know I will get it, and it is easier for me to respond through emails. Um, I get a lot of comments on my YouTube channel, so unfortunately, there are comments that do get missed that I don't respond to. I'm not ignoring you guys. I'm sorry. It's just that it it just happens i'm doing all this um kind of on my own so i sometimes i'm not uh quite with it as much as i should be uh <laughs> but i do hope you guys enjoy this pattern if nothing else and of course you don't have to do the cables on the front you can just do you can do the collar change the zigzag on the front and the back of the gloves if you want or you can just do the cables. I mean, it's really up to you. Of course, there is a direct link to the PDF in the description below. Uh, and it will have, the pattern is wrote out for the size that I made with all the notes. And there are some pictures and, of course, links to, like, if you need just little video clips, there's all that in there as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, don't forget to subscribe.